What is up you guys, my name is Apprentice and welcome back to another video. Now the gameplay in the background is nothing special, I'm not sure what it's going to be, but if you want to minimise it and then just listen to what I have to say, that would be fantastic. Now, there is one topic you should probably stay away from at the moment talking about, and that is politics, because it gets very controversial and very heated. So I'm going to talk about politics because I like it, I like being involved in this sort of political sense of the argument for and against and different parties, and I'm not or I don't usually say what I'm going to vote and I don't influence anyone's vote. I always stand by the fact that you should vote for what's going to benefit you the most. You need to look out for number one. So if voting for a certain party is going to benefit you more than voting for another party, definitely vote for the party that's going to help you out the most regardless what anyone else has to say because you should look out for yourself first and foremost. That being said, obviously the EU referendum was on Thursday and if you're not from the UK basically it means that the UK were voting if they want to stay within the European Union or if they want to leave it. Now it did come out with a majority leave based at 51.2% to 48.8% I believe. It's like really close, it's sort of almost 50-50 and the way sort of the nation voted which was the majority over 65s voted to leave, the majority of like 18 to 24 voted to stay. That's just the way it splits and as it gets the gaps in between, it sort of 50-50s out. Now, there's nothing wrong with this, the way they voted, because obviously the people that are currently our age, age sort of 18 to 24, or my age should I say, they have all they've known as the European Union and the older people have known before it, so they, you know, are voting for based on what they think would benefit them the most. And people are arguing saying that over 65 shouldn't be allowed to vote because they're not going to be allowed long enough or long enough to sort of have these changes affect them, which is a topic for another day I'm going to stay away from. The one I want to talk about is the other split in the EU referendum, which was the fact that 62% of Scotland voted to remain. No place in Scotland had a majority of leave vote. Same with Northern Ireland, 61% of people in Northern Ireland voted to remain. Which brings the question that why should Scotland and Northern Ireland be forced to leave the EU when they don't want to? The you know, public have spoken, people say, oh, the public have spoken, the UK have spoken, they want to leave. No, that is not true. England and Wales, as a majority, have voted they want to leave, whereas Scotland and Northern Ireland want to stay. So why should we be forced to leave something we don't want to leave? That isn't uh, democratic. Now, obviously, from this, Nicola Sturgeon has announced that she wants to hold another... EU, uh, sort of Scotland referendum, referendum of independence for Scotland, which became a no vote last time. Um, and obviously I did vote no last time. However, this time I would probably vote yes. However, it might not even come to that because the EU are saying if you know the UK leave, we're not going to allow Scotland back in. However, Nicola Sturgeon, as First Minister of Scotland, can take this legislation to Holyrood and not decide to back the motion, which is what Westminster needs for this to go forward. Uh, obviously, Yes, the population of the UK have spoken, however, the population of Scotland have spoken, 62% of which saying we want to stay as part of the EU. She can technically veto this whole process. I will have a link in the description to a proper video for, of her um, discussing it and explaining how this can happen if you want to check that out. But that's my opinion on it. I'm going to tell you what I voted as well just now, and I'm going to tell you what I voted in the EU referendum as well, or the Scottish independent referendum, because I've never done that. Basically, the first time round, I voted no because I wanted Scotland to stay in the EU. Um, and obviously, there wasn't guarantee that if Scotland became an independent country, it would be part of the EU. And then, obviously, this referendum, it's obvious that I voted to stay because I want, obviously, to be part of the EU. However, if it comes round to, it again, a second independence referendum for Scotland, I would vote yes because there is still a chance, if she doesn't veto it, that then Scotland can become part of the European Union. That's my say on it. That's just my opinion. If you guys have a different opinion or you want to tell me what you voted, let me know in the comment section down below. If you have enjoyed today's video, please make sure you smash the like button. It would be much and greatly appreciated. Other than that, guys, until next time, I've been the Prentai, and I'll see you in the next one.